Well, Joyce, they did. This is really right in the middle of Marquette's campus. I want to go ahead and show you. They just took the crime tape down, but on this corner right here, 17th and Wisconsin, uh, that's where it seemed the crime scene ended. There was crime scene tape up there. I want to go ahead and show you exactly how close that is, though, to Marquette. Right here, this is a student dorm room. This is Humphrey Hall. Across the street over here, this is the McCabe Apartments. We received video earlier today from a student who was inside of there. Students were also, this happened during dining hours. They were at dining halls down the street. They told us that they came outside to see what was going on. Officers did not give them any details, but did tell them that they needed to leave the area. Here's what one student told us. I asked the police officers if they could reveal details, and uh, both officers said that they could not confirm what was going on right now. They just told you to leave the area? They told us to leave the area, and they said they could not reveal any details about what was taking place. Okay, wow. Well, how does that make you feel being a student here? Uh, it's a little concerning, um, but not entirely out of place for what I was expecting from Milwaukee. Um, so it's, it's kind of expected, but it's, it's a little frightening. Now, this is the third law enforcement officer in the past two weeks that was shot in Milwaukee. A sheriff's deputy just got out of the hospital today, hours before this officer was shot. We ran into community activists on the scene who say enough is enough. Like one after another after another, you know, and it just shows you how dangerous this job is. And, you know, and... My hat, my, you know, my hat tips off to the, all the officers because they put their lives on the, on the line every day. And this is a perfect example right here, what, what's going on right now, you know. And, you know, and it's, it's, it's scary because the violence in our city is out of control. And right now, according to the chief, it does sound like the officer will survive. That is the good news in all of this. Uh, the crime scene tape here is all down. Wisconsin Avenue is back open. Students are able to go back into their dorms. So uh, the crime scene just wrapped up here on 17th and Wisconsin. Joyce Patrick. Courtney, thank you. Now let's learn more about what happened directly from the chief. Derek Rose joins us now live. Hey there, uh, Joyce. Uh, yeah, we did hear from the chief as well as the mayors the second time we've heard from them uh, today. In this particular incident, the victim of the violent crime was a Milwaukee police officer. This all started with a concerned call from residents who saw someone uh, slumped over in a vehicle. They were concerned enough to call 911, and so police dispatched an officer out to that scene at 21st uh, in St. Paul, and that officer who was responding alone, this 26-year-old uh, officer, uh, seven year veteran responded to that scene and they say that person in that vehicle took off running. That person had a gun and started shooting. Here's the chief. The officer and suspect exchanged gunfire. Both the suspect and officer were struck. After the exchange of gunfire, <clears throat> the suspect entered the wounded MPD's officer squad car and fled the scene. The suspect crashed into another motorist on the 1700 block of West Clybourne Street and fled on foot. He was later apprehended on the 600 block of North 17th Street without further incident. What is the messaging to your officers during roll call in terms of safety uh, and their presence and their presence of mind out here on the streets as we've seen so many law enforcement officers here in this town uh, under attack. First of all, I have to extend my appreciation. Knowing this work is challenging, knowing this work is um, ongoing in regards to uh, having the response to this violence in our city, which is across our nation. I mean, we saw what happened down in Houston. This is something that uh, we have to understand. Yes, we swore our oath, but we have to be safe. We have to be um, steadfast. Um, I'm proud of the men and women of the Milwaukee Police Department. Proud of my brothers and sisters of the badge across the nation and definitely am proud that they are able to still come to work and understand what the lift is, to be steadfast, to be diligent, and understand that they have to have each other's back in regards to the work that needs to be done. But just like the mayor said, it's not only us. It's all of us. We all got to be sick and tired of this. And to be very honest, I am sick and tired of this in regards to the violence that we're using to respond to simple conflicts, simple things where we should be able to work it out and talk it out. Our community is tired of this. 
and we need to be all tired of this and find a way how we all can contribute to a better community together. And that was the police chief. You can hear the frustration uh, in his voice, uh, obviously, and understandable, considering this is the second news conference he's had to deliver uh, today in regards to violent crimes here in Milwaukee. He and the mayor both stressing today that is enough is that enough is enough, not just violence against police officers, but gun violence overall in this city. But it was a police officer who was the victim of this crime today. We mentioned uh, acting Mayor Cavalier Johnson was also here today. Here were his comments. There are too many people in this community who have too easy access to guns who should not have them in the first place. And it's affecting everybody from our babies. Mind you, someone less than 10 years old was shot on the first day of this year to today. We haven't even gotten out of the first month of 2022. And you've got three law enforcement officers shot. Three law enforcement officers shot in the last two weeks. That is just here in Milwaukee and Milwaukee County. In Houston today, three officers shot there. We saw what happened, unfortunately, in New York, where officers were killed in the line of duty. Uh, it's been a very violent month, uh, and particularly a violent couple of weeks here in Milwaukee in terms of law enforcement officers. One other note, the uh, person they have in custody, they have, they say it is a 22-year-old man. They say they found uh, that person's, the gun that that person used to fire at the officer, they found it in the officer's stolen squad car. Uh, police are referring charges to the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office for criminal charges. We will be waiting to see when that happens and specifically what else they detail from this investigation in the criminal complaint when that does come down from the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office. Back to you. Derek Rose reporting from the, from the Menominee Valley tonight. Derek, thank you. Well, we heard the chief mention the many locations that are over this fan. Let's listen here, to Matt About Salen. 21st and St. Paul Avenue. There's a couple of cars here parked along. Now I'm going to zoom in. You can see investigators right now are taking some photos. They're actually uh, marking some evidence markers. There's uh, dozens of them stretching between that vehicle and this squad car and the second vehicle here you can see there's more of them on the sidewalk there right next to that vehicle all right so from that point we jump across the freeway to 17th street and Clybourne, and that is where the intersection where the uh, squad car was involved in the collision you can see right there the squad right in the center of the frame that has some serious front end damage and it looks like it uh, broadsided a vehicle that was coming southbound along 17th street right there in the intersection and then right up the street from there there is another uh, group of uh, crime scene tape and it's right at the uh, intersection of 17th Street and uh, Wisconsin Avenue. You can see there's another squad and it's behind that uh, red crime scene tape that they always use to mark the exact spot where they're investigating. And you can see there are investigators right now combing over that scene as well. That was Matt Salemi earlier tonight in News Chopper 12. Now let's go to 12 News, Nick Bohr. Nick, you're at the crash site that Matt mentioned near 17th and Clybourne. That's where police say the suspect in the officer's squad car crashed into another vehicle. Right, Patrick is right here at the intersection. You can see the car that that squad ran into is still here with heavy damage on the side. You can see the airbags are deployed on that vehicle. Uh, the chief saying that one of the people in this car was transported to the hospital with injuries. And I want to go uh, to some video now of the squad being towed away. And you can see in that video that there's a serious front end damage to that squad car. We believe that it was uh, heading westbound on Columbia here when it collided into the side of that minivan. Uh, we also have a video on the ground of the same squad from a little distance away. You can see where the front end of that uh, was uh, pointed towards this uh, minivan that was smashed into. And again, we're told that uh, the suspect then ran uh, northbound here on 17th Street and was taken into custody up near Wisconsin Avenue. And I believe we also had some chopper video as well of this scene. And you could see at the time 
that uh, the vehicle, the police squad car, slammed uh, pretty uh, severely into this minivan. Uh, you would assume that it ran a red light because this is a controlled intersection uh, with a signal, and uh, cars come south here on 17th Street at a pretty good clip and usually make the turn uh, to go westbound. And we believe that uh, that car was coming up probably on uh, St. Paul, went eastbound up onto 13th, and then came up here on uh, St. Paul, or rather on Clyde and collided with the minivan here. Uh, there's a uh, tow truck arriving right now to take that away. So we believe that this scene uh, will be clear here in just the next few minutes as they get here to uh, tow this vehicle away again. Uh, we don't know the extent of the injuries of the person that was in that minivan. But again, certainly everybody hoping for the best for that person as well, as well as for that injured officer tonight. And certainly the uh, initial prognosis coming from the chief uh, was that uh, he was uh, not having having life-threatening injuries, so that would certainly be some good news here. But again, this is again where this all ended when that squad car crashed into another vehicle. Back to you guys. Nick Bohr at the scene near 17th and Clybourne. As Nick mentioned, emergency crews rushed the officer to the hospital. Caroline Reinwald continues our coverage now from Freighter. Caroline? It's pretty quiet here right now, Joyce. You can just see behind me, uh, we haven't seen a lot of police here in the last hour. Most of them have left at this point. This is where we know the officer was brought. And if you take a look at our video that we shot when we first arrived on scene, we did see an ambulance being closely followed by a couple of Milwaukee police officers. And so we're wondering if uh, possibly the suspect was brought here as well, uh, who, as you heard, also sustained non-fatal injuries. Both uh, the suspected shooter, according to police, and the officer themselves sustained non-fatal injuries. Injuries. And obviously, you see police officers wearing those bulletproof vests quite often. So you got to assume that that played a role in saving this officer's life at this point. We're hearing from the police chief that uh, he is uh, in recovery at this point here at Freighter Hospital. But at this point, uh, pretty quiet outside of the adult emergency room, Joyce. I believe Chief Norman's quote was that there is a good recovery going on, and we certainly hope so. 26-year-old officer with seven years on the force. Thank you, Caroline. Recapping now, a Milwaukee police officer shot just before 6.30 tonight. Police say the officer encountered the suspect during a welfare check check on St. Paul Avenue. Sources tell 12 News the officer suffered injuries to the stomach, shoulder and chest. Police say the suspect stole the officer's squad after exchanging gunfire with the officer and then crashed into another vehicle nearby at 17th and Clybourne. Police took the suspect into custody near 17th and Wisconsin. Police say the suspect, a 22 year old man, was also shot and has non fatal injuries. The police chief says the 26 year old officer has non life threatening injuries. You can watch the entire news conference on the 12 News app.